Okay, we all love shiny hunting, but let's be honest. It can get boring sometimes. Now hear me out. I'm not saying shiny hunting in general is boring. In fact, I'm a shiny hunter myself. I'm saying it's not exactly something you do for entertainment purposes. Some hunts can get pretty long, and if you're doing nothing else but sitting there pushing buttons hoping something sparkles, it can get old pretty fast. So that's why I decided to make this video telling you guys the five things I do while shiny hunting. Keep in mind that these five things are in no particular order. So without further ado, let's get started. Now most of you are probably doing this right now, but number five on the list is watch YouTube videos or live streams. Now the main reason I say YouTube videos and live streams is because YouTube videos can be used just to pass the time or to get motivation for your hunts by watching shiny videos of your target. As for live streams, it's just super fun to go into a chat and chill and interact with the chat and the streamer. Some streams I recommend that do shiny hunting and are very interactive with their chat is A-Drive, Hi I'm Twit, JYT Gamer, and Cuddle of Death. There's a lot more people that I can think of that are also great streamers slash shiny hunters but the list would be way too long for this video. Now this is more or less of something you could do while hunting, but it's more of a tip. Make sure you take breaks. Sitting down all day shiny hunting isn't exactly the healthiest thing you can do. Also, if you're shiny hunting all day, you'll get tired of the hunt, which is really not something you wanna do. So what can you do while taking a break? You can maybe, uh, I don't know, take a walk, use the bathroom, talk to your neighbor, Go pet a doge. Seriously though, what you do during your break is completely up to you. Now this is something that I do quite often and it keeps me relaxed and refreshed as I hunt. Make sure you have drinks and snacks. I personally just like to make a tea or a coffee and take a sip and take a deep breath and I usually feel a lot more alert so that I won't soft reset over a shiny. I've never failed a shiny in my life, I swear. So this can be a tad bit hard if you aren't too good at multitasking, but if possible, make sure you hunt on as many systems as you can. I remember when last year during the ISHC, I managed to somehow shiny hunt on 13 systems at once, and I would get shinies pretty much every day. By the way, I'm never, ever, 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 ever hunting on 13 systems at once again. So if you want a better chance to find a shiny in one way or another, try to hunt on multiple systems. So this is really important for not just staying entertained while shiny hunting, but also meeting new people in the community and making friends. If you're allowed to, or you're old enough to make your own decisions, make a Skype account and start talking to other fellow shiny hunters. With Skype, I've been able to meet so many people and create amazing friendships. Just recently, I met my friend who I met through Skype in real life at Super Smash Con 2015. If it weren't for Skype, I wouldn't even care to meet the scrub. Don't worry, Gary, I still love your face. On a serious note, though, if you can, be sure to make a Skype account and get to know other shiny hunters. So that is all the time I have for this video today. This is my first ever top 5 slash top 10 slash whatever top video so feedback is greatly appreciated and as always thank you so much for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed comment telling me if you want to see more and subscribe if you want to see more content such as this and i will see you all next time bye